Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to a new Roblox visuals tutorial. So um, today I'm going to be showing you how to add effects to a thumbnail icon or pretty much anything. Um, I just went on Twitter and I found somebody's uh, thumbnail. So I think this is by Infinitum or something. But yeah, I'm going to show you how to add some effects. Just kind of spice it up a little bit. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. For effects, you could go on Google, you could make your own, or you could just look up Photoshop GFX pack. Um, personally, I think that's the best way to go about it. There's a lot of ways you can do effects, but this is just how I like to do it. So, all right, so I got this pack over here. I'm just gonna delete these. Here is the thumbnail. Uh, let me just make it bigger. All right, all right, so let's go into the pack. Let's see what's here, light effects. There's a bunch over here. I think this one looks pretty cool, so let me drag it in here. Now, you see this knife over here? That's where I want to apply the effect, so. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here to the quick selection tool, and I'm just gonna highlight the character. There we go. Arms, torso, left arm legs and the knife you want to right click select the mask so you gotta get this little red part don't want to leave that out right click select the mask turn up the radius smooth and the contrast and you can lower the shift edge hit ok go to your move tool and control c control v now what i just did is um i just made this character right here into a separate layer Right. All right. Now I'm gonna right-click on the character. I'm gonna go to blending options, and I'm gonna go for an inner glow, just like this. I've seen a lot of people do this effect where um, it's just like a, an inner glow, something like this. All right. So you could do this. Bevel and boss. You want to turn the soften all the way up, size up a little bit, and change these two to overlay, just like that. I'm gonna turn this probably to around 40 now i think this looks pretty good i'm gonna hit okay um some basic lighting effects uh you can make a new layer go to your brush tool hardness all the way down opacity somewhere in the middle same with the uh the flow just gonna make this larger and i'm gonna select a green color and you could just paint over it same with this just like that maybe for the body as well all right now you could change the blending mode so i'm gonna go with a linear dodge if you remember this effect that we put in i'm gonna change this to linear dodge and i'm just gonna put this over the knife just like that um maybe somewhere over here and then you could control c right click and go to warp you can actually Arc it a little bit, just like that, and there. Curve it a little bit, and now uh, we're here just erase this. So as you can see, I added this effect to the knife. Now, since this is um, it's a bright effect, right? It emits light. We're gonna add some environmental lighting. You wanna add some lighting as well to the character, so. It's kind of a reddish pink. Just apply that to the knife. Um, the character is here, 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 here. I think that's good. Go overlay. As you can see, let's give it some red lighting effects. Um, what else can we do? Let's see what else is in this. There's a similar one. Um, let's go out from light. Let's go sparks. Um, I think this effect right here is really good. If you're making a thumbnail where there's some kind of impact, large impacts where you know debris or dirt, rubble, or some stuff gets blown up, um, you can use this over here. Let's go over to stock. These are some cool effects you could use. 
Um, this one, if you hit Control U, it will open up the hue and saturation. You could change the color. Do green so it matches this character. Put it right here or something, something like that. Um, what else is here? Here's action lines. Low effects, a flame circle thingy, explosion, impact, more action lines. Here's a cool little lightning effect. Where can I put this? I'm not even sure where I can put this. Maybe I'll just put it right here. And as for this, to color it, make a new layer, hold Alt, go in between and click. Choose a color, just color over it. Now you could also duplicate this and then go filter blur, Gaussian blur. Just kind of blur it out like that. On a new layer, so make sure you duplicate it by the way. All right, so that's the general gist of how to add effects. So yeah, you can go on Google and you can look up particle effects, um, change the blending mode, add some lighting around it. But now once you're done with all your effects, you want to select all your layers, control G, control J, and then control E. You want to hide this one. Um, this is so you could go back and edit. So I'm going to take this one, control J again and hit control a control c control v delete this one and then go back to this and control j once again it's a lot of steps but you get the hang of it we're gonna go to filter camera raw turn the vibrance up texture up exposure you just want to play around with these settings until you get it how you want it like this now you see this clarity this slider over here i feel like I've used this a bunch of times and it actually really helps with just adding texture and it sharpens your image a lot. So I'm going to use that. All right, there we go. And then we can just turn this down to about 75 or maybe 65. See, the thing is, this is somebody else's thumbnail and I enlarged it a bunch. So the quality is not going to be the best. As you can see, it's a little bit blurry, but if you're making your own thumbnail, it should be high quality. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you add effects to a Roblox thumbnail. You can also do this on icons and just pretty much anything. So if you enjoyed this and this helps you, make sure you leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Turn on post notifications and we'll see you next time. Peace.